Come with me for a ride on the 24 bus around the beautiful bays of Wellington Harbour. We'll go all the way from Kilburnie to Johnsonville and we'll come back to Kilburnie again and we'll use this trusty cell phone to take pictures of the journey. I hope you enjoy it. Bye now. Yep, uh, Courtney Place, place where all the nightlife is. Then we'll head through town, through Lambton Quay. We'll go past Parliament and all those sort of places before we uh, head through Thorndon and then we'll go up Onslow Road. the 24 bus back into town now, back through Wellington to Sydney. We are now at the north end of Lambton Quay and we're about to pass the old government buildings at the north end of Lambton Quay. The old government building was built in 1876 and up until 1998 it was the second largest wooden building in the world. It 
was built to house the New Zealand Civil Service and now houses Victoria University of Wellington's Law School. Look at the beautiful uh, carpet trees and flower outside. and key and all the shops and then we'll turn into Hunter Street which then turns into Willow Street with the bus stop outside Union D Books and just around the corner of Union D Books is uh, Master Street which leads to where all the council buildings are and the, the square that leads down to it's a nice walk through there. We're now at Cuba Street. We're about to pass by Cuba Street. Cuba Street has its own annual festival and an unofficial mayor. Um, it's now on its second mayor. It has seen parties and protests, people at their best and at their worst. It's a place of oddities and contradictions all at once. It can be edgy and alternative, modern and grimy, a place where the smell of marijuana is unremarkable, but where you take your friends and family for dinner when they are in town. Thought to be the most vulnerable place in Wellington in a significant earthquake, it is difficult to imagine Wellington without Cuba Street, or at least without the Edwardian architecture for which it is known. shopping, entertainment, food, art and buskers offering many genres of free performance. So Courtney Place is sort of more of a late night area where a lot of people hang out and in the daytime there's bars. Uh, so it's a sort of a, uh, yeah, I suppose it's the entertainment strip. It's got a few theatres and other things as well. Field Street, turn into Schaefer's Street, then we'll turn into Cable Street, then we'll head around the bays. Oriental Bay is close to the city, and it's a place where a lot of people walk. There's Thrybird Hall, there's Port Ferguson Yacht Club. It's an area with restaurants and it's a great place to hang out on summer. And uh, now I'm just leaving 
enjoy the rest of the journey as we head around the bays and we will eventually end up at Kilbeck. We're going to pass a few landmarks on the way but there's a lot of beautiful bays that people can enjoy the beach or just go for a walk or enjoy the harbour or do as we're doing, catch a bus. For a cheap way to get around Wellington, check out day passes. Day passes are good value if you're using trains and buses.